Cheetah, Puma, Jaguar, Panther, Tiger, Leopard, Snow Leopard, Lion, and now moving on to Mac OS X, Mountain Lion. But I shouldn't say Mac OS X. They've kind of dropped the Mac part from the name. We can see here on Apple.com, they're now calling it Mac OS X, X being the Roman numeral for 10, Mountain Lion. Today is the 16th day of February 2012. Welcome to the video. I'm Ryan Does Tech from our tech blog, techinform.us. And it uh, looks like today we got some news from Apple. I'm here on the site. We're going to take a look at some of the graphics, then head over to Mac Rumors. There's a little bit more information. Then I'm going to throw my two cents in about the next generation of Mac, the next generation of OS X, which they're going to be calling Mountain Lion. We saw Lion in, in I, I want to say, summer of 2011, which was this past year. It was a $30 upgrade from Snow Leopard. It's a pretty good upgrade. We saw Snow Leopard in 2009, so that had about a two-year service. Lion looks like it's going to be very short-lived. It'll be just about a year. And uh, Mountain Lion is not a huge update, in my opinion. It is far time to be done with the OS X and to move on. We've had the same general idea inside um, Mac OS X now for, what, maybe 10 years? It's been the same idea of a dock, and there's been gradual improvements and new features, and that's always good. Uh, but now we're just seeing more and more, and it's becoming more and more similar to iOS. They're really trying to put their products together. Uh, so here on the home page, we've got a whole bunch of graphics. Of course, Apple's done a phenomenal job making beautiful graphics for all of this um, with a bunch of new features. So if you want to read it yourself, apple.com, and you'll see in the bottom left, there's a little thing that says Mountain Lion. But uh, we will flip through some of the graphics. So we've got a new application it's called Messages. Um, we know it as iMessage. We've had it now with iOS 5, iPod, iPhone, and, and uh, iPad. And it's been a really neat way to use, it really feels like uh, texting, and it is for all intents and purposes, unless you have your Apple account signed in and you're on a Wi-Fi network. So this is going to allow us to communicate just over Wi-Fi with Macs, iPods, iPhones, and iPads, and that's gonna be awesome. Um, we've had iChat on the Mac, Quite honestly, it's kind of a mobile me type failure. It never caught on. It, it wasn't really a good service. I don't. I didn't like the graphics. I didn't like the way it worked. Um, right now, the messages application is in a public beta. I got the direct link from Mac Rumors. We'll be taking a look at that in just a few minutes. But uh, I, I recommend that you download it and try it out. I have it here installed in my dock. I'll open that up. And it's a really eloquent, beautiful user interface that allows you to have all kinds of different people over here. And they've integrated FaceTime with it. So instead of having a FaceTime application and then using iChat or a third-party IM utility on your Mac, now they're together. So I could go and find Colt on here, Colt Knows Tech on YouTube. I'll link him below. And uh, we could see and chat and FaceTime or just chat or just FaceTime. Uh, right from this one application. So that's one improvement that we're going to be seeing in, um, in Mountain Lion. Next, we've got a notification center. If you're using iOS 5, you're very familiar with the way you uh, swipe down from the top, and that brings up all your notifications, emails. You get some widgets in there, and it looks like we're going to have that now on the Mac, which is good, because every application right now kind of has its own little way of notifying you, and whether it's Growl or something like that. Uh, but in the future, we're going to have is the screenshot um, eloquently depicts a thing on the side that looks just like iOS 5's notification center that has all your mail, looks like game center, calendar, messages, FaceTime, plus I'm sure third-party applications will be able to use that as well. So that's going to be a nice way to, to see what you've missed and what you need to do. Speaking of needing to do, here's the reminders application. We saw that on iOS 5. It's a really nice way. You can actually use Siri, you know, remind me when I get home to buy this book. Get a flash drive. I actually use that one today for graphics. And uh, it will remind you based on your location. If you have a MacBook Pro, that'd make more sense. Um, or, uh, of course, an iOS device. So we're going to see that uh, Reminders app in there. That'll be nice, as well as Notes. We've seen that on iOS now since, I think, iPhone OS, when, when it was called that, uh, one. So this will be a nice way to, to take down Notes. And that will sync all across the board, all of this that I'm talking about. I love the way they're doing this. They're putting it all in the cloud. So your device goes and it connects to the cloud. It downloads... For example, if I made a note on here and then I turned on my Mac, the note would show up, just like my bookmarks, my iCal stuff, reminders, messages are going to be across the board, as well as Game Center. So now you can play Mac versus iPhone versus iPod Touch versus iPad, and, and they call it here. It's a win-win, and, and they're not kidding. So those are some really cool features uh, with all of that. Uh, so all of these look like iOS features coming over to the Mac, and we kind of saw that with Lion with uh, whatever this is called. I don't remember. I've never used it. I did organize it, so it looks nice. Um, 
so I guess that's good that they're going to be putting all this together. And uh, I'm definitely excited for this. I think it'll probably be another $29.99 upgrade that you're going to be able to do through the Mac App Store. Speaking of the Mac App Store, that's another thing um, that they're working with here. They're going to make all of the applications that you can get on a Mac they need to come from the App Store, and that's quite like this. No more third party, go to this website, download a DMG, drag the dot .app into the applications folder. You're not gonna need to do that anymore. It's gonna be just like the App Store on iOS devices for the Mac, which makes it, one, so much easier to do anything, to find them, to download them, to look at the reviews and the screenshots, and uh, then using Game Center to play with games across all kinds of Apple products. So uh, it looks like Apple's bringing all of their products together here so they can all work together. Uh, which is really cool. I think they should have been doing this before, and of course they have been, and, and technology has advanced to the point where it's now much easier to do so. Uh, so I'm very excited for uh, Mountain Lion coming this summer. Hopefully that means June, July, over August or September, but uh, only time will tell. Real quick here on MacRumors.com, I'll just link the site below as if you don't know how to get there. Uh, but it looks like we're going to have documents in the cloud. It's going to totally simplify file access, which is great. I use the iPad at school a lot. I have a lot of documents on there. And when I come home, I would love to be able to go to one unified location and find the documents I made here on the iPad and on the Mac all in one centralized location on the cloud. So that'll be really great to be able to edit stuff no matter where you are and come back no matter where you are and get that same document to print, to view, to turn in, to do whatever you're going to do with that. So that looks like a really nice uh, organization method uh, to keep all that uh, organized. And as I mentioned a minute ago, they have dropped Mac from the name. You can see the screenshot on the, uh, over to the left there, the one with the i5. It says 10.8, just OS X, big deal. So I guess they're going to drop that. And then I also talked about this, software update to move inside the Mac App Store in OS X Lion. Um, so if you want developers, I, I think it would be better for developers to be able to work with Apple, get their app in the store, uh, better advertise it and make it easier for customers to get that application. So if you're a developer, you can actually go ahead and download the developer preview right now and play around with it, get your applications all ready and, and in support for uh, Mountain Lion later on. This is just a sneak peek of some of the features. I'm sure some things will change over the next several months and we'll see new things and they'll change the way things look. Um, but it does look like it's going to be a update that completely smooths out the entire um, the entire experience. As George Costanza would say, it's, it's, it's just going to be smoothing. You know, he's just going to smooth stuff out. Let me know if you get that reference. Um, so yeah, leave me some thoughts down below. What do you, uh, what do you think? Are you going to buy it? Is this, is this just Apple milking customers for features that they don't need? I know I've heard that on Twitter. I don't think it's true. I think that these features are going to make the whole experience, if you're using multiple devices, which I think a lot of us are, um, a lot easier. Just going to be a smoothing experience, nice and smooth. With all of that said, I thought I would uh, give a quick mention here to one of my long-term friends on YouTube. I've watched this guy's videos. He's been watching my videos for a long time. Um, I rarely do shout-outs. Most likely, if you ask, I apologize. I can't do them. I'll get literally 200 requests in my inbox to go through and, and give people shout-outs, and I can't turn that into this kind of a channel. Uh, but this guy's put up a lot of good content, a lot more stuff recently, so please check it out. He doesn't get a lot of views, and I think he should. He puts good time and effort into his... Uh, into his production and editing, but he's got some uh, some Mac stuff here, where to upgrade your Mac. Actually, that's a really good site, Otherworld Computing. I think it's owc.com or Mac Store. Uh, and then he did a review of his 13-inch MacBook Pro after six months. He's had that one, or obviously, for six months. Uh, so please check out his channel. Subscribe if you like what I see, if you like what you see, and I'll leave his link down below this video. All right, so that's going to be it for today, guys. I actually have Friday and Monday off this week. I've got a nice long four-day weekend. If anything else comes up, if you have any requests, I'll try to make a video. Send me an email or... Um, a PM on YouTube. Actually, uh, refrain from the PMs right now or the DMs on YouTube. It looks like their inbox service isn't working when you reply, uh, so that's a pain. But if you could send me an email, ryan at techinform.us, or just put a comment down below this video. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, again, leave your thoughts. I look forward to reading those, and I'll talk to you in a future video. Please subscribe if you like what you saw here. Bye-bye.